Hello folks, welcome back to our channel IAS Tech. Today we will be learning how to set a background image in Angular. This technique can be incredibly useful when designing the user interface of your application. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. First of all, you need to have your own Angular project. You need to generate your Angular project if you don't have any one yet. So to generate a new Angular project, open your terminal in VS Code uh, in the in your operating system and type command ng generate and give it your project name it can be any name whatever you prefer and once you do that it will create a project for you once project is generated you have to open that project in your editor so i will be using the vs code and i am running my project with the ng serve command in the browser already I will get rid of the default code that was generated because of the angular CLI and I will write something from scratch. I will cover different use cases so that it could provide maximum benefit to you. So first of all, I will have a main container and I will download an image from internet. So let us download some interesting image from internet. Now move that image in your project, open the assets folder create a folder for images and drag that image in that folder all right now in the app.sas file i will target that container and we will add width under vh height under vh and background image provide the url and provide the relative path where you have, specific, you have saved the image. Okay, now if you open your page in browser, you will see the background image. I want to remove the padding around that image. For that, I will open the style.scss. Use target the body and set margin zero. And other than that, for the width, I would like to use VW instead of VH. And let me improve the background size and position all right so we just set a background image with the help of angular and now this is not the only way to set image to the background there is a different way as well you can set the remote url of the image as well for example i want to set a different image let's suppose uh, let us select a different image this one so i will copy the url click on the copy image address and go back to your project and replace this path with the path that you just copied from internet and now you can see that you do, did not even have to save the image in the images folder it started to work without any issue so next thing i will cover is that you can add this background image from the variable as well so here i will add the property image and i will give it a path of the image so for example i want to give it path of source assets images bg1 dot jpg now instead of setting background image with the help of scss file we will add the background image with the help of angular style directive so use ng style and add object here i will add background image and then you need to add the url in the url you need to specify the path we already have the path in the variable so i will get it from there Make sure the path is correct. All right, you can see that we are able to set the background image with the help of the JavaScript as well, our variable from the TypeScript component. Next thing is that I will add a button and you will be able to image with the help of the button as well. So if you click on the button, it will update the background image change pg image okay and on click event 
we will update the value of image from old value to a different new value that we will get from internet for a different image so copy the image url like we did before and now paste it here so now let's try it you can see this is the background image if you click on the change bg image it will immediately change the background image for you you can also ch uh, change the image to a local image if you want to but i'm using a live image all right experiment with different images to find what works best for your project i hope that this tutorial has been helpful if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more tutorials on angular and other programming topics thanks for watching and see you next time goodbye